<laughs> the only complaint I have about this town is one political thing I want to run by you guys. That lot of we can no longer talk on our cell phones when we're driving. I think that makes things more dangerous because what is safer? I'm driving along in a leisurely conversation, or I'm driving along forced to look everywhere for cops the whole time. God damn it. Oh! I do agree with the one, you know, no texting while driving. That is dangerous because if you pay too much attention to the driving and not enough to the texting, the auto check will get you. You'll say things that make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday I got a text from my wife asking why, why in God's green earth I was being such a duck. <laughs> well, I you sure that makes sense. Oh, we have a lot of great people here tonight. My little sister's in town, and she uh, just told me she's pregnant, so that's cool. She's married, so it is good news. <laughs> so I was thinking, what can I do for this child to have an impact on, on his or her life? I'm like, okay, I could buy a, like a $500 college savings bond, and in 18 years it'd be worth $524. <laughs> Pay for like an hour of college. <laughs> I've got a better idea. I'm going to go to Vegas here next month during March Madness, put it all on Kentucky to win. <laughs> if we win, that kid's going to be great. It's a set. If not, it'll be a lesson. Well, you shouldn't gamble away your college money. <laughs> You're going to need to study the target. <laughs> My CPA is here. If any of you need a good CPA, I'll give you his name. Craig, he's so by the book. He was telling me, oh, he asked me, Mark, where did you get this number of your mileage reduction? I'm like, oh, the same place everybody else. I make up a reasonable number at the end of the year. <laughs> they said, no, you need to log this every week throughout the year. <laughs> Michael, I do not have time to make up a number every week all year. <laughs> That's kooky, man. Kooky. <laughs> He's like, we have to have this quantified, substantiated. I'm like, okay, it's got to be tied to something. It has to be tied to something. Okay, let's tie it to how often I disappoint somebody. Is 75,000 miles a lot to drive in a year? <laughs> My banker is here, great guy. Uh, but there's nothing funny about bankers, sorry. <laughs> He's really good. He, uh, he told me I need to beef up security measures in our company because he was worried about identity theft. I'm like, dude, you've seen my numbers. If somebody steals my identity, the joke's on them. <laughs> Good luck with this. <laughs> Final notice, my ass. <laughs> Reminds me when you're a kid, your dad's like, I'm not going to tell you again. Good. Quite <laughs> something here about it. Thank you. <laughs> so my wife has only one verifiable flaw that I found in all these years. That the only time we've ever really fought is getting lost. You know, it used to be the maps and you're trying to read them while you're driving. Now with GPS, I would think it'd be pretty easy because these instructions are specific. You know, go down 27, turn, turn right on 2nd Avenue, you know, destination on the left. What she needs is something to interpret to her as a female GPS. It'd be something like this. Okay, you're, you're going to go down kind of past the colleges and hit a corner by City Road. Walker's Grill, but don't go like where you go to where we went to that street dance at Tiny's. It's not that way. It's the other way from there. <laughs> so take a right hand turn and pass that, and pass Walker's. Remember that really pretty chartreuse blouse I got at the day gets past there. And then pass that alley where we saw those two homeless guys making out. And then but not as far up like where we used to go to get my birth control pills. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can say that really pretty lady that bought you a beer at the Mustang stand, it's going to be on your left hand side of that. You can't miss it. 